General Blaze is at his compound in the Great Separation, deep behind enemy lines. The Green President Donald Grump has pinpointed his location. The richest green of all pays mercenaries to take him out. But in order to pay them, he must gather the funds from investors like you. So this video is brought to you by Adventure Capitalist. Become a gazillionaire just like Donald Grump. This is the mobile game that any entrepreneur plastic needs. It's been going for six long years now and many have rose to the top using this strategy. Simply tap your screen, expand your businesses and make trillions of credits doing so. You can play it whilst watching the TV, you can play it whilst sitting on the toilet. You can, also, you can also play it whilst you're getting wrecked at Fortnite. Yes, you know, when you're waiting on the loading screen for everyone else to ready up and they never do. Um, it's basically the best game to play whenever you're doing something else, as you can never lose. It plays itself when you're not even playing it. You just continue to make money. So Donald Grump played this game, obviously, and, and look at him now, you know. It, there's a reason that he keeps his hair so shiny yellow. Um, if you use my link at the top of the description, within the next six weeks you will get exclusive rewards, such as back-to-back -back limited time events, um, you also get a free party hat, um, if you want that, um, six free time warps to earn extra cash on Time Warp Wednesday, and you get promo codes for the store and many bundle offers. So if you want to be a rich capitalist, um, play AdCap today by using the link at the top of the description and also tell me in the comments um, if you downloaded it and I will thank you personally. So a big thank you to Adventure Capitalist for sponsoring today's video. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Army Men of War. I'm your host Mighty Mapper 123 and today we have a banger. We have this mansion right here. Look, look it's General Blaze's mansion. We made this quite some time ago. Mr. Blaze himself lives here. The commander in chief, chief. What's a chief? The mandarin. The, <laughs> the mandarin queef. I was gonna say the mandarin queef. The um, the commander in chief of the Red Army is in here. He's not the president. He is the chief of their army. Their main guy. Their main general. He's held up in his office at the back right here. He is gonna be defending against Donald Grump's many, many different colours that are gonna be attacking this compound because he has promised them a absolute fortune. I'm going to let you guys decide how much he gives the uh, soldier that kills General Blaze, if they kill General Blaze obviously because you don't know what's going to happen in these videos. Uh, but I assure you, whatever happens in this video will affect what happens in the next. So anyway, I've put together this map. It's General Blaze's mansion. Um, I do hope you enjoyed that little intro that we did. Um, th a big thank you to Adventure Capitalist. Like I say, I've been playing your game for a, a long time. Um, it's such a great game. Uh, go and download it. Links at the top of the description. I also forgot to mention that they do have a YouTube channel as well. So go and check that out. There's also a link in the description to that. You can see how uh, um, how they made the game, the struggles that they had uh, making the game, and uh, that came along with making the game. Should I say yes? And uh, yeah, so go and check it out. Um, I'm going to plug them because they've been very generous and sponsoring a video. It's so cool to get sponsored by someone that are, um, are quite popular, like um, especially when I've got the game myself on my phone, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, so right here we have a garage, we have an entrance, we have a mansion, we've got some cool plushy statues. We're in the human dimension yet again, and uh, yeah, the mercenaries are made up of practically every colour. Um, they are elite soldiers as you can see they're a little bit better than the average soldier So they're all kitted out with different guns some with silencers. They have C4 uh, I think they have a little bit more increased health than the average soldier The Reds will be bringing in some reinforcements if they do get overwhelmed and yeah, they've got a BTR as well um, So this is going to be a really cool battle without further ado. Let's start it and see how it plays out um, if I could find the start button that is, it's uh, up here somewhere. I hate it because in Men of War it's down in the right corner, but in this one it's in the top left. So I don't, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. So here they come. The mercenaries come one by one. Hurrah. Hurrah. We've got a grey leading the way. We've got a red coming up at second place. And they're just wiping the floor with these reds at the gate. Look. Oh, retreat. Sound the alarm. They're coming. So, so let me know. How much do you think 
the guy that kills Mr. Blaze or captures Mr. Blaze, should I say, should get. I was thinking if he does capture him as well and he succeeds, I think that we should start a new faction, maybe like a um, maybe a rainbow faction, like a color a color based faction where it doesn't matter what color soldier they are, they're all on the same side. So a bit like uh, what, what Blackwater. That'd be pretty cool. And they can basically work for the highest bidder. We'll see how well they perform anyway, but I have no idea how many is coming in, by the way. It's random. It's whoever decides to turn up and try and claim the uh, prize. I think it should be definitely in the millions of credits. Maybe they're going to buy their own army. Or maybe they'll, like, purchase the Lego army or something. Because they're, they're, like, guns for hire. Or maybe they'll pay the greys. We've got some more... Mercenaries over here. So I've placed a little trap over here. Look, if the greens, well, if the mercenaries, should I say, not the greens, come around this corner, they've got this to face. If we go through the castle itself, look, in every room, if I can angle the camera right, there's uh, soldiers. So in this room, the soldiers, we've got some presidential guard in this room as well. We've got some soldiers up here. And like I say, we've got Mr. Blaze himself with his cool red army flags outside. You can see that they've completely secured the exterior of the compound. They're holding down pretty well. We've got a couple of red special forces over here. Throw a grenade. You got this, bro. He listened to me. He actually listened to me. <laughs> Prepare to. Oh, well, that was useful, wasn't it? Terrible. Another coming in times three. He's just healing himself. Well, if in doubt, throw another grenade. There's a flashbang. He's blind. Shoot him. He's blind, dude. Okay, maybe not. That was your chance then. I didn't want to touch him. I probably would have got him killed. These guys are chilling inside here. We can actually drop in, look. Take that. Die, you motherfuckers. Gonna hold down in here. Don't let him through, boys. Oh, that was useful, wasn't it? So, so far so good. We've got plenty of reds in the compound. We're going to move these to the front line, if anything. Just to uh, give them that little bit of extra tension. Those ed extra defences. Same goes for you guys. The majority of Mr. Redberg's... No, Redberg? R wrong... Wrong bloody... Uh, Dimension. Mighty, um, so, Blaze, that's his name. Yes, General Blaze. He has a huge army. He's deployed most of his army against the uh, green front line, right near the central trade area, if I remember. We will be coming back to this, and I'll be doing it properly, like with a campaign map and everything, um, as soon as I get ahead of my videos again, because at the moment, I'm really not ahead of my videos, that's why. I'm going to throw throw these ones out. Maps that I did quite a while ago. But pretty cool nevertheless. I prefer these uh, smaller battles. Anyway, how epic does that look? This is Army and RTS2. With giant mushrooms. You can't even get in though. And it, like I say, there's a time limit. The red reinforcements will be here eventually as well. So they might actually just hold, hold off the compound. And we might not be seeing any death at all. Let's uh, swim this guy in. Out the way, lads. Move. Well, back up. Doot, doot. Vehicle reversing. Doot, doot. Move out the way. I think I just killed one of my guys. Maybe two. Oh my god, these things cannot drive. And now I'm stuck on a sandbag. Sorry, we're doing some damage. That's a good spot, actually. We'll leave him there. Right, it's these guys' turn now. We're going to drop in as a random character. Who do you think it's going to be? Grey. I, I knew it! We've got a Grey with a green gun. They'll just grab whatever guns they can get. Clearly, there's a Scar H. One of my favourites, actually. I can't breathe. I'm dying. Medic! Next! Who is next to fill the wrath of mighty? The god of war! No. So we're getting somewhere. 
We've got this guy now. This guy has got a uh, bazooka. If we can disable their tank. There we go. There goes the tank. If we can disable their helicopter. Did it just go through the helicopter? That's not good. Well, wasted all those rounds. Never mind. We've not even taken inside this place yet. Let's have a little peek, shall we? Oh, maybe not. Right, so if we press... That button, no. I used to have like those buttons on the side of my mouse so I could easily get a grenade out, but my... I had to switch my mouse around and it's terrible now. I can't even get my grenades out. One in doubt, get a grenade out, but we can't. We haven't got the pleasure. We haven't got the... Uh, we haven't got the... Uh, what was the word? I'm, I'm just going completely blank with my words today. But never mind. Right, how are we doing on the right flank? Are they come, they've gone sleep. Uh, might as well make a campfire, make some sausages. As for these guys, bring them round. Come on, red reinforcements, where are you? They should be on their way. As you can hear, the alarm was going off. They've completely secured the front end of the compound now. We've got like two guys inside this uh, this garage right here. Five star garage. Not the plushie, leave the plushie alone. Right, how are we doing inside? So, plenty of soldiers inside. They've not managed to get through the door yet. They've had one casualty. Three casualties at the front door. No, nope, six casualties. I can't tell who's dead and who's not in this world. We've still got some coming in. That's quite a lot, to be honest. Like I say, I scripted it to be random, so... Ooh. That was a premature... ejaculate explosion. <laughs> right, in you go, lads. Charge for the Emperor. Oh, where have we gone? That's right. It's pile of men. Why do I keep sending my camera over there? What's over here? Is it is it a camera trying to tell me there's reinforcements on the way? I don't think it is. I think the reinforcements are delayed. Right, where are we? Charge! Over the top, lads. Over the top of this plate of grass. I'm just randomly bursting out my, my flames out of my weapon. Yes. Nope. They're in the grass, boys. They're camouflaged with their red, their bright red uniforms. Okay. Next thing we need to do now is uh, wait for the reinforcement. The Reds finally arrived. They've come in from two angles. They're trying to sandwich them in. Uh, the mercenaries, though, have decided to fight fire with fire. Look at that. There's loads of them. There's so many. So now the mercenaries are going to hunker down inside the compound. And uh, we're going to try and go door to door. And we're going to try and capture Mr. Blaze and get him in that helicopter before... We can get before we get wrecked. It's a matter of time now, isn't it? Really. I mean, we are really far behind enemy lines right here. Freeze! Oh, he got me, bro. He got me. Other one dead. Let's go. Oh no! He got him. Not good. How are we doing? Reinforcements have arrived. Right. Secure the HVT. We need to get out of here. I need that money. It's like, no grey is going to ever get that money. A green's going to get it. Well, if that's the case, you know, that's fair enough. Just pay me, pay me a hundred dollars. Or a thousand dollars. It depends on how much you guys actually allocate to the uh, winner. The guy that takes Mr. Blaze's head or captures him. He's worth even more alive. Look at that statue right there. It's a giant statue of an army man. Oh, he got me. Come on. Another one dead. Never mind. They all have names as well, so at the end, if you stick around. Oh, no. Yeah, if you stick around to the end, 
Um, and someone does end up capturing the uh, Red General. We'll be able to check out his name. And we'll turn him in, turn him into a main character. How does that sound? And we'll give we'll give you guys some role play in the Discord as well. Maybe help create a backstory for him. Let's uh, look at this luxury orange yellow carpet. Oh. Ugh. I'm injured. Come on, lads. Up, upstairs. Can't even see anything. I'm, I'm fighting blind, boys. I'm fighting blind. He's dead. Oh, never mind. Who's next? Right, up, up you go. Grey's, Grey's rule. We're gonna secure. Just because these are grey, by the way, it doesn't mean that uh, they're on the grey side. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. Run to there. Oh, we did it. Oh. Open fire! Oh, he nearly threw a grenade. Is that gonna blow up? No, I don't think he took the gun out. They're looking at me. Blaze, come out. You're screwed, bro. No, maybe you're not. Graves for the win. No, maybe not. Who's next? Tan. Can a Tan do it? That would be interesting. A Tan faction. There we go. We got him. Blaze is down. I don't think he's dead, though. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make it so he can't shoot. That way we can pick up his body. Um, he, he won't be dead because he's the main character. Main characters never die on the spot. And now we're going to get him out of here. Let's go. If we can get him to the helicopter, then the mercenaries win. And then we will uh, allocate um, the, well, the ending, I guess. What the, uh, the result, should we say. They're going to do it, look. They've still secured the compound. The reinforcements didn't do quite as well as what they thought they were. Where's, where is he? Where, where's the... Uh, Where's the dude? Blaze? Where's he gone? Is he dead? Oh, here he comes. He was just taking his time. A lot of stairs, I guess. Can he do it? The rest of the mercs. We're going to try and get as many mercs in that helicopter. As possible. I do believe this helicopter is glitched, so it will be just for show. But um, still be cool. That's the objective, you see. Uh, it would have been more interesting if the uh, helicopter took off and then maybe we did like a Black Hawk Down thing. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Just got to get in there. Protected by a tan. But the Greys have saved the day. Maybe these Greys are loyal to the Greys and they take them over to um, Mr. Greyvern Jr. The uh, leader of the Grey Nation. Right, you've not won yet. You've got to get him to the helicopter. To the helicopter. Right. He's not going the way I want him to. If in doubt, do it myself. You know, up the stairs. There we go. So it wasn't that hard. That bullet nearly hit me. He'll hit me. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put his body down. His name is Michael Price. He is apparently a green, but he's not. He's grey. Or is he? Ooh. Um, <laughs> we're going to put his body down now, if we can. So, that's it. Put, put, his body, put his body down now. There we are. And load him in. Oop. He's in. And now you guys... Get in, as many of you guys get into this helicopter as you can, and uh, yeah, I think that's a win right there. Unfortunately, for what's left of the uh, guys of the comp, oh no, never mind, they've uh, secured the area. So these guys are going to go back to wherever they came from. There's loads of them. You see, it was random. You see, uh, it was like it could have been anywhere between. Uh, I think it was 50, and I just spat all over my mic when I did that. It could have been anywhere between like 50 and 250, but it looks to me like it's closer to maybe 100, 150 men. Uh, the Reds just didn't stand a chance, really. It was quick, it was efficient, you know, it was very loud. But at this point, obviously, this is where the tanks would come rolling in, and 
there'd just be that many reds now rolling in, wouldn't there, like this, look. This is practically what it looked like. They'd be cleaning up. The helicopter would take off and disappear. So they've succeeded, succeeded in capturing General Blaze. And now here comes the rest of the reinforcements. Yes, I know I cheated. I didn't script them. I spawned them. But at the end of the day, it's toy soldiers. It's what, it's what we do. Isn't it? Oh, look at that. Now this is what it would be like at the end. The whole army would just come crushing down on them. So I remember it was a grey soldier by the name of Price. Michael Price, I believe. Death. So much death. And just adding to the um, the death toll of these plastics. Like I say, it's got to be in the millions. Got to be. Or at least hundreds of thousands since we started. We've been doing this series for many years now. Alright, last but not least. Let's do a last stand. Last stand, boys. Alright, hold down. We got the objective. He is going to make a bajillion dollars now. Donald Trump is going to be the one that pays him. Well, his investors are going to be the ones that paid him. Maybe we could have like many conglomerates. We could start a rebellion or something. Maybe the plastics are just sick of the war. And they want it all to stop. Look at this. They're actually holding their own. Shooting into the grass. Right. Charge. Charge them. Go, boys. Charge. And this is where it gets interesting. Move, move, move. Oh, flashbang. Flashbang. What, what a picture. What a picture. What a bit of grass. No. Go. Oh, this is actually a really cool last stand. They went down in the glory of Plastis. Plastica. Keep going. Keep sending them forward. No mercy. No mercy at all. Let's go into first person. I think we've done it. We're in the grass. I can see them. Wow. Right. We're going to break free. Some of these guys have got to survive. They've worked too hard just to die. We've worked too hard to just die. Oh, hello. <laughs> They're sleeping for real now. Right, scale the wall, scale the wall. Let's say they go up to the wall. They psh, they blow a hole in the wall. Another one. There we go. They do realistically have C4. I just cannot be bothered to uh, place it. So, let's get a name right here anyway. These guys can tell the tale. We've got a Ryan Allen. We've got a Roger Lee. Kyle Palmer. And uh, Aaron Walker. Congratulations. The rest of you guys are going to get wrecked. The scene is still guys inside the building. Look. We surrender. I know. In fact, these guys do not surrender. Oh my gosh. This is a last stand. We've got a guy there. And that's it now. Look at that one green at the top. The last guy. This is it. It's all up to this guy. Let's go. Proper seal now. Clear. 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 I just like saying the word clear. Clear. Dead. Oh, they're everywhere! It's like Time Crisis up in here. Oh. For those of you guys that don't know what Time Crisis is, it's like an old arcade game from like the 90s, early 2000s. Great game. Alright, you guys, 
Get you guys, I told you you guys could live. Get out. Three, four, five, six, seven men. There we go. Let's uh, retreat these guys. They're probably going to get eaten by Tarans. Because remember, there's spiders all in the wilderness. Yeah, that was an epic battle. If you want to see more battles like this, do let me know. Like I say, I'm happy to put these smaller battles together. I think it was still epic, nevertheless. Also, like I say as well, go and download 